What website platform should you use in 2024 and how will it impact your ability to generate revenue moving forward? My name is Mike with Advertising Report Card. I get asked this question a lot. What is the best platform to be on? There's free options, there's cheap options, and then there are comprehensive options, none of which are more than $99 per month, some of which cost nothing per month, but require more work. What's best for you? I'm going to dive directly into these options right now, and then that way you can make the best determination, and if you need more help, that's what we're here for. So I'm going to start out with the free option, which is Elementor. And why I'm starting out with this option is because it's my favorite for WordPress specific websites. If you're already on WordPress, moving to Elementor is easy. And if you are not on WordPress and you're building a website from scratch, but you want to build a website that's going to rank well for SEO, have the ability to add features as you grow your company, and in general, make it seem more like editing a Word document than doing code when it comes to building pages. Elementor comes with a ton of resources as well. They have great support. They have a lot of templates. They have a page builder. They have hosting built in. They have AI built in. Image optimization, which is a huge thing that people are missing. And for those familiar with WordPress, it even has a free theme that it comes with. Now, there is pricing for it, but you do not have to pay for premium pricing. The actual plugin itself comes is free but when you want to add more features you can then start to pay more into it so i highly recommend uh, elementor there's other ones that i don't recommend anymore like divi do not use x theme all of the other page builders that were more popular in the past years have all kind of fallen in competition to elementor this makes building wordpress websites easy I can't emphasize that enough with that being said, uh, it still takes experience. How to set up your website, how to set up hosting, how to use the page builder. It does help if you have some experience with WordPress. And if you are not a web designer or you don't have any interest in working on your site, Elementor might not be the best option. So another option that's popular is Wix, which I'm sure everyone's heard about. They've done advertising during the Super Bowl years ago. Um, they're just a big company in general and they are a templated page builder, meaning that you really don't have full control over the site. But for many people, that doesn't matter what they're really looking for. In that instance, the customer for, of Wix, they're looking for something that's going to be easy. That doesn't take a lot of setup. It might not be the prettiest looking thing, but it's affordable. When it comes to Wix, your beginning price range, it can vary based off of what you need. But if you just want something super basic, it's $16 per month. So with that being said, not free, but it does come with a much easier learning curve. And it does have the ability to upgrade over time to get more features. Support is kind of give or take. Elementor support is better. But with that being said, the actual page builder of this system is a lot easier. A competition of Wix is Squarespace, which is very similar to Wix. The difference between Wix and Squarespace is that you can more easily sell and uh, have commerce through Squarespace, so you can take transactions through it. They top themselves as a, a much more robust when it comes to the e-commerce side of the website. So if you're a local service business and you want to transact through the site, you can through this. Most businesses that I come across they're not trying to sell services directly through the website. It sounds cool, but you have to set the whole thing up and then you have to direct people through the site. If you're just sending people direct invoices or payments or credit card processing, then it's probably going to be easier to just stay on the platform you have. But Squarespace is uh, an alternative to when it comes to Wix. Now, they also don't make finding the pricing the easiest thing either, which is why I'm not a huge fan. Once you log in and build your site and you want to launch it, that's when they try to charge you. Not a huge fan of that. Prefer the upfront method of knowing what you're investing in before you start building the site. And if we were to compare Wix and Squarespace, which are comparable in pricing, I'm leaning more towards Wix. If we were to compare Elementor, Wix, and Squarespace, 100% of the time leaning towards Elementor. Because as your business grows, you'll never need to move off of Elementor. 
Plus, it's on WordPress, so doing the things like SEO and other things that are what a lot of people want to do over the long span of time are more powerful on Elementor. SEO on Wix, not very good. SEO on Squarespace, I've barely heard anyone actually um, using that platform. Last but not least is High Level. I'm going to drop a link to this platform in the description of this video. But main thing here, and also when you click on that link, you will get um, a free trial. So you won't have to worry about these other platforms and just trying to figure out as you go. If you want to try something for free, you can try this platform. It's $97 per month. Uh, I believe, uh, yeah, it's nine, $97 or $99 per month. And it comes with everything. As you can see here, um, this is actually the the bigger plan. You don't need to pay for the $300 per month. If you just want to sign up for your own website, it's only $99. But it doesn't just come with a website. It comes with calendar booking. You can see here, website builder. But it also comes with surveys and forms, email marketing, SMS marketing, booking and appointments, automations. You can even load up courses and products. It does call tracking, reputation management, a big thing a lot of small businesses need to focus on, making sure that you're generating reviews from every customer. Tracking and analytics. You can even do document signing now. The features that are being added to this platform on a daily basis are incredible. Their Facebook group, high level official community, before you make any decisions, highly recommend you jump in there and also check the communities from these other platforms. Between High Level, Wix, Squarespace, and Elementor, Elementor and High Level have the best communities, meaning that there are just regular people like you and me who are dropping advice, free templates, guidance, and if you need help, you know where you can go to get help, and it's not just limited to the chat support. You can get help from actual people like just you and me who are looking to see what other people are doing, how they're using it, any types of advice. The actual depth that this offers is incredible. Um, it's it's like, for instance, fully automated booking, lead nurture sequences. You can capture new leads through the forms and calls. They have things like missed call text back. So if someone calls you and you miss the call, you can text them back. Full CRM management. So having someone jump in here and manage your leads for you as you grow your company is something that it can be done too. All in all, this is definitely the best platform for business to fully grow from nothing to something the only thing that would really keep people back in my opinion from this is the 99 dollars per month but if you really think about all the things that are included in this compared to where they're sold elsewhere it's it's there's no competition there's really no competition um, I highly recommend taking a close look at this. Again, the link is in the description. Click that and you'll get access to this free trial. So that, that way you can go in there and poke around. Their support is amazing for setup. Their website builder, honestly, it's easier than all three of the other options. It's easier than Elementor. It's better, way better than Wix. It's 10 times better than Squarespace. And it's constantly getting updates. It's constantly getting improvements. So... I wanted to also point out too that as you grow your company, having a CRM so that you can actually track all of your contacts is really going to help you focus on lifetime value of everybody that you speak with. Because if you speak to a customer once, chances are maybe a year from now you can work with them again or get referrals from them or get reviews from them. You can have this all in one system help with the entire process from the very beginning. Plus, if you ever decide to do marketing or work with a marketing person, like advertising report card, they're going to love you for being on the system because they're going to be able to do so much more, so much faster for you and get a much better result. So in summary, Elementor is the best WordPress builder. If you want to build on WordPress, which I think, honestly, it's it's for the, the bigger companies. You don't need to do that anymore. If you're a smaller company, you can go with Wix and Squarespace. But if you want to position yourself for success as a small company or even a medium-sized company, getting involved with High Level has been monumental for everyone that I've worked with, including myself. I use the system as well. So if you're looking to see, it's like, hey, what does the marketing person do for their own marketing, their own website, their own strategies? You're going to hear more and more about this platform as time goes on. I cannot recommend it enough. 
So with that being said, uh, I'm going to drop links in the description. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments or send us a DM. As I always say, the advice is free. It's just the work that costs money. If you need us to build out your website for you, we have a great team for it. Let's so go ahead and reach out. This is Mike with Advertising Report Card. If you found this valuable, please like and subscribe. We'll be dropping more guides as time goes on. Talk soon.